This uh, presentation will address the focus question, how are priority issues for Australia's health identified? It will focus on measuring health status and focus specifically on measures of epidemiology. We're going to focus specifically on incidence and prevalence and look at tables and graphs from health reports to look at current trends and look at some of the major causes of uh, disease in the population and compare males and females in some cases. So measures of epidemiology, we've looked at mortality, infant mortality, morbidity, life expectancy in, in some depth, and this presentation will focus on prevalence and incidence. Prevalence can be defined as the number of cases of disease that exist in a defined population at a point in time. So the number of cases, the number of people that have a particular disease at any given time. Cardiovascular disease, an example of prevalence, one in five um, Australian adults have cardiovascular disease, which is approximately 3.7 million people. That's a good example of prevalence. If we look at this graph here, we can see the prevalence of cardiovascular disease by age and sex. And you'll see in the dark purple um, color, you can see that that represents men and the lighter colour represents women. And you can see that over the age group, you can see that the 55 to 64 age group, you can see that more males are likely uh, to have uh, cardiovascular disease. And you can see that as the population ages, you can see that females taking over in that 65 to 74 age group and levelling out at 75 plus. But you can see that as people age, the prevalence of CVD increases. Here is a trend in relation to diabetes, and you can see that the prevalence or the amount of people that actually have diabetes uh, in between these two particular dates, you can see we've seen an increase in prevalence over time uh, with a peak in 2008 and leveling out slightly uh, to 2013. Diabetes is on the rise, and we can put that down to rising levels of obesity, uh, poor diet, physical activity habits of people, and that's led to the rapid increase, which is a, a quite a concern. You can see here the prevalence of diabetes by age and sex. You can see that males dominate across all age groups. The prevalence of males is quite alarming uh, in that 65 to 74 age group. It's almost double, and that is concerning. Look at the prevalence of cancers by sex. You can see that the amount of people that actually have prostate cancer, okay, you can see 86,207, an example of the prevalence of that particular cancer. You can see that breast cancer dominates for females and a slight difference there around melanoma of the skin. So more males have melanoma and that is coming up into second place versus colorectal or bowel cancer for females. So you can see the amount of people that actually have that particular cancer or cancers. Prevalence of cancer or the five-year prevalence was higher in males than in females. You can see that males are more likely to have cancer. And again, in that 65 and, age, 65 and over age group, you can see that uh, females sorry, 65 years and older, more likely to have cancer than the younger age group. And that's because as people age, they're more likely to develop cancer. Incidence. Incidence refers to the number of new cases of a disease occurring in a defined population over a period of time. So the difference between prevalence and incidence, prevalence relates to the amount of people that actually have a particular disease, whereas incidence relates to the number of new cases of a disease over a particular period of time. It could be one year, the amount of new cases of cancer, for example, in one year. So this is an example here in 2014. The, it is estimated that 123,920 new cancer ca cases will be diagnosed in Australia. So in one year, it's the amount of new cancer cases identified. So more, a greater incidence in males than females again and a much greater incidence in 65 years and older. 
the incidence of all cancers combined, you can see that we've seen a steady increase over time. Uh, and you can see that the, the rate actually levels out. The rate, um, meaning the proportion per 100,000. But the actual incidence itself, the amount of people that actually are diagnosed with cancer, is increasing. And this could be because... Um, there are new screening and detection measures now, far more than we've ever had before. So incidence is likely to rise because more people are going and getting checked. And so when more people go and get checked, it means more um, people will be diagnosed with cancer. And you can see here prostate cancer and breast cancer again, gender-specific cancers are uh, the most commonly diagnosed cancers, so the highest incidence occurs in those particular cancers. And again, there are screening uh, tools available for those cancers, so therefore the incidence is very high. Likewise with colorectal, there is a screening tool for that particular cancer, so the more people that go and get checked, the more cases that will be found. And likewise for melanoma of the skin, many people will be encouraged to check their skin get checks and so on, so the incidence will rise. However, we can't discount the fact that the actual cancer could be becoming more common as well due to people's dietary habits or their general risky behaviours. So just the, the difference again, prevalence is the number of people that actually have a disease at a particular moment in time, whereas incidence relates to the number of new cases that occur in a designated period of time, for example, over one year. Thank you very much for listening.